Hi, I'm down in the Cook's Garden, and today we're gonna make pizza, so we need a couple things to go with the pizza, and one is basil, and the other is tomatoes. So I don't see any ripe tomatoes. These are all tomato plants, and it's gonna actually be a lot of tomatoes real soon, but they're not quite ready yet. Um, but there is some fresh basil down here that I'm gonna harvest to go along with some garlic that I've already harvested. So I take the little tops off just like that, and that'll allow the plant to continue to grow really well. And it likes to get trimmed. I'm not gonna need a lot of basil, maybe that leaf there. And so that'll be probably enough. I'm gonna slice this up really fine and put it on our margarita pizza today. So we have some oregano also in the cook's garden and we're gonna use a little bit of that in our pizza sauce today for the, to make the homemade pizza. So I'm gonna trim the tops of these just like this. And I don't need a lot. We're not making a pizza for 300 people. We're just making it for three people today. So that'll probably be enough. And oregano also likes to get trimmed like this and it'll keep it full and nice. Oh, and I just happened to see over here a little bit of parsley. So I'm gonna cut some of that up as well. I'll pick this and that'll go in the pizza sauce. So I've got parsley, oregano, and some basil. Hi, this is Chef Marisa, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make pizza dough. So I have my ingredients in front of me. Um, I have olive oil, I have about 250 grams of lukewarm water, and about three cups or 361 grams of all-purpose flour, as well as one and a quarter teaspoon of salt that I've poured on top of the flour. I also have two teaspoons of active dry yeast that I mixed with some lukewarm water, about two tablespoons of the water, and a pinch of sugar to activate the yeast. So I'm going to be putting all of these ingredients into my stand mixer. carefully. We kind of flip it around. The dough is risen fairly well. You can kind of get your knuckles underneath and toss the pizza carefully. Whoa! I haven't done this in about 30 years, but you know what? It can be done. So just about like that. Let's go over to the oven and we'll see if we can slide it in the oven. See how the pizza slides around like that? 
That's really important. So we got a nice hot oven, it's 425. I'm gonna slide the pizza off, just like so. Make sure that it's all the way in, in the middle of the brick. And it'll be about 10 minutes.